In this video, we're going to discuss how to create custom icons for Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Power Apps as well. As you can see, the default icon is a puzzle piece. And it's repeated no matter how many you have. The best thing to do is just get a good icon. Go over to Font Awesome, which is probably the best place to go, and download, search for, and otherwise obtain your icons. Right now I'm grabbing Box USD, and you'll see it's SVG. You simply download that SVG. And what you want to do is download the SVG for each custom icon. I have three here, Project, Investment, and Project Investment. When you download the SVG, it's a name from Font Awesome. You can rename it as you like. Note that it's best to choose line items, especially for the modern unified interface in Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Power Apps. Once you've got all icons downloaded, open them with your favorite vector editor. Mine is Inkscape. Inkscape is a free application. Click on Export PNG and you'll notice the size. You have to create three, 16 by 16, 32 by 32, and then the vector itself. So as you can see here, I'm starting out with 16 by 16 PNG for the investment icon. You click export and that puts it into the list, as you can see on the left. The next step is 32 by 32. Always remember to click Export As, change the name, and then click Export to actually create the PNG. Now that's all you need to do for each icon. So as you can see, I can close without saving and I can move on to the next one. I'll pause the video until all three are created. And remember, 16 by 16 and 32 by 32. Now you can see that I have all of the icons that I need. Now it's time to head back over to Dynamics and create web resources for every icon that I need. And what you have to do is you have to create a web resource for the 16 by 16, the 32 by 32, and also the SVG. So I'm going to walk through one. So what we need to do here is create web resources for each icon. So you'll see here I'm creating project icon 16 by 16. And this is a PNG format. So 16 by 16 and 32 by 32 has to be PNG format. So I choose PNG. You can use English if you want. I don't think it really matters. But you choose the language. And then you choose the file. And what you want to choose, of course, is the 16 by 16 PNG file that you created. It's good to save, and then it's good to publish. You can publish each one at a time, or you can publish all later. Now I'm going to create the 32 by 32. Again, this is also a PNG. It's a good idea to name them consistently so that you can find them easily later. So you can see here I'm using the vernacular project icon, I'll use investment icon, I'll use project investment icon, and that'll help me find them when it comes time to locate these web resources later on. Again, PNG. And then again, choose the appropriate icon. Save, and not a bad idea to publish. It's perfectly fine to publish one by one because it doesn't take that long to publish an icon. The last one we have to create is the SVG. In this case, you don't have to manipulate the SVG you've downloaded. You can just use it straight up, especially because we chose the black icons that are line drawings. And the only thing to remember this time is to choose the right format, SVG, vector format. 
Then you choose the baseline file, the one you downloaded, very specifically. Then you save, and then you publish. So now we've published all three. We are done with the icons, and now all we have to do is refresh to show you what it looks like. Control F5, and have a look at our new icons. That's how you create custom icons in Dynamics and Power Apps. I hope this helps.